so what's wrong with me? It's a crazy house. I mean, I don't think anything's wrong with you. I think it's important. I think you're, I think you're beautiful and single and lonely. And, mm -hmm. But I don't know why you would, um, why it would make you feel, um, Like there's a... I just think that there's an ulterior motive. I'm, I'm not saying that I feel pitted against anybody, not at all. But I feel like that's where it's headed. I feel like it's made to make me jealous. Like, eventually, if I let it keep going or if something else comes, or if it is what I think it is, then all of a sudden I'm going to be like, you know, take out every other girl within 100 miles of me. But that's not me. I won't do that. No, 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 this is all in my, this is all in my mind. He could just be being nice to me. He might be nice. I mean, he may be. That, and that, that in itself surprises me and gets me tickled. I don't know. He made me cookies the other day. I'm just really not have to do that. I know. I know that. And I don't know, I can't tell if he, and what a bitch if he's genuinely just being nice to me. And I'm like, don't be nice to me. I'm a bitch. I don't mean to do that either. I just, I really don't know how to handle this because I've never had to be around other guys. I've never had to be around guys that, that like this. That's, I really had a hard time finding a way to talk to him and Winston and Tyler and Scotty and everybody in the first place. Well, I definitely don't think Haley has a genuine interest in anybody in here. Um, I think she likes them. I think she likes to flirt with them. I think that outside of this house, perhaps, maybe any one of them could be her type. She's not interested in the showman's either at all. So, I mean, as a 21-year-old girl with a bunch of cute boys around, she's going to flirt and stuff, but she's not. I can imagine that if I was single and younger, I would flirt with some boys in a house if they were all single too. It doesn't mean that I would, like, kiss any of them. just don't I have no confidence like I used to but it's all gone and especially being here I'm just uh I don't know I'm having a really hard time getting over that part I think that you feel like shit for whatever happened and you've got a lot of guilt and you're not letting yourself forgive yourself for whatever, whether it was something you actually did or something that you just feel like you did. And I feel like you're very vulnerable and very sensitive. And when you look at yourself in the mirror, you don't see what everybody else sees. No, I don't. 
I think that you feel... A big, fat, disgusting piece of shit, and I wish I was dead. Right, yeah. And that's not what everybody else sees at all. And I'm sorry that you feel that way. And I'm sorry that that's what you see, because that's not what the rest of us see. At all. At all. So I don't know. This is just the big... This is the big... This is the big one. Like, this is the big ugly cry that I promised wasn't going to happen on national TV. It's okay. I've had big cries. And I, they're all ugly. I'm not a good crier. But... I'm just... I'm not crazy. I'm not bipolar. I'm not... I'm not... It's okay if you were. I'm not saying that you are. I know, I'm but just saying there's nothing, nothing wrong with that either. JC in the bathroom is like, do you have a... Do you have a family history of crazy people? I'm just like, shut up. He's such a bitch. No, I'm Are you saying... bipolar? I'm just saying, no. This is just a stressful situation. And I, I mean, I need, I'm a talker. Like, I need to talk stuff out. And nobody, I don't have anybody to talk to except the DR. And God, you're probably sick of me at this point. <laughs> And, yeah, I just don't see how a guy like Brett could possibly be interested in me. So, I think that it is a game thing, and I think that it is going to end up hurting, and I just don't want that. I don't need that. And, first of all, I'm sure all types of guys would be interested in you, but I would not advise exploring that in this game. No. Hell no. So, I mean... That is out of the question. Right. So, I mean, but totally, you're fascinating and strong and beautiful and, and creative and interesting. and Crazy. We're all crazy, Sam. We're literally all crazy. I think that's a part of coming in here. I'm just the only one's not hiding it, though. Like, certainly batshit nuts. Yeah, batshit crazy. I think we're all crazy. You're like pull it stick out of your ass exactly that's why i've never that's what i've that's why i've wanted them out of here from the beginning because they don't interest me they're fucking boring <laughs> if nothing else i mean i'm sure they're very nice people outside of here but they bore me they remind me of just like snooty like get over yourself for real yeah but i digress but i'm just saying <laughs> yeah. That's me. Our scars would make us be like that. But they all still are here. Okay, I have plenty of those. No. But you gotta... You gotta work on forgiving yourself for whatever the fuck happened that made you be so hard on yourself. It's um, a really weird place to do some self-work. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wouldn't have necessarily suggested it, but I'm really glad to. I got, know, I, really, I know, I'm but really, I got I'm here. I'm really glad that I know you, but I mean, if we were outside of here, I would, I would tell you to do shit like look at yourself in the mirror and say I'm beautiful ten times a day until you actually believe it. Fake it till you make it, and you will make it because you are beautiful and you're fucking cool. You're cool as shit, man. Like, like I said, it's like a really weird place to do self work because it's a fucked up place. Yeah, I know. So it's um, you know, there's a lot of different techniques, but I mean, a, a great start is forgiving yourself for whatever you're so mad at yourself for whatever whatever you're so angry at yourself you, the best first step would be 
forgiving yourself for that. And we don't even have to talk about it because whatever it is, I already know that you. it makes you feel ugly, it makes you feel stupid, it makes you feel fat and gross and horrible. And when you look at yourself, all you see is this terrible thing that, yeah. that you may or may not have even done. I don't know. We don't have to talk about it. But, it, I mean you're carrying all that guilt and all that baggage and that's the ugly monster that you're looking at. Yeah, well, how do I get rid of it? You gotta forgive yourself. How do I do that? You have to say, Sam, I love you. We've been through a lot of life together and every mistake made is not a mistake. Hey, sorry, I was trying to see my sweatshirt right here. Come in here. I got called. Oh, okay, bye. Every, every mistake made is not a mistake. If you learn from it, it's a fucking lesson. And whatever I did, sometimes were a lesson or a blessing. And clearly, this is a lesson that I need to learn from, whatever it is. And I forgive you, Sam, because you're just a fucking person. You're a person. And people are... To err is human. To forgive is divine. And I'm going to forgive my fucking self. Yeah, I forgive everybody else. What the fuck? Right. Forgive you. Forgive <laughs> yeah. Sam. Yeah. Forgive Sam. Yeah. Sam's a badass bitch. Yeah. Forgive her. Let forgive me. Give her a hug. Say it's all right, girl. I, it's all right, girl. What? It's okay. It's okay. Whatever the fuck. Fuck that. Fuck it. I'm. You know what? I'm sorry. I forgive you. I love you. I love you. Yeah. That's what you need. That's what you need to say to Sam. Whether out loud or to yourself. I mean, I, like I said, this is a an interesting place to choose to do some self work, but hey, we're here. We're doing it. So do it. Do the work. Do okay. The work. Forgive Sam. See the beautiful Sam that everybody else sees and leave leave the ugly monster in a Somewhere else. Kill it. Fucking kill it. It's not useful. It's, it's, um, what's that? Uh, it's, um, I'm not thinking cognitively. Um, it's, it's counterproductive. It's counterproductive to Sam's existence in general. Squash the ugly monster. Sam's a beautiful person. Forgive her. I'm gonna love you forever. <laughs> like, you're, you have no idea what kind of an influential person you'll be in my life. Like, Forever. We're going to be friends for... Forever. For forever, Sam. Like, I'm going to be buying your daughter's Christmas presents and shit when I bring them to your house. They're going to love you. Make them stuff. They'll I'm going to make them that. stuff. They're going to fucking love that. I'm seriously like... I feel better. You're the, only, you're the only person in the world right now that could possibly make me feel better and you're doing it. Okay. I don't know how. You just... Because that's... Because that's the work you have to do. You have to do the work. You have to forgive Sam. You got to look at the thing and say, whatever it was was shitty, but I'm holding on to it and I'm going to let it go. It's stupid. I'm fucking let it. I forgive you, Sam. I love you, Sam. Yeah. You and me, Sam. Me, yeah. and my, me myself, and I. Up in this bitch and everywhere else. Can we? Like, I know you love Haley and stuff, and you've got Haley, like, in the game thing, whatever. But can you just like, can we just promise? Can can we just be inseparable for the rest of the time I'm here? Sure. I keep trying to make you inseparable, even though I go upstairs. I'm like, come on, Sam. I know. Haley's like, come on, Sam. We can be inseparable. Sure. Yeah. Like Haley's cool and all, but I just really love you. Like I love you too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait to meet your daughter. It's like this is just... so cool. I can't wait to see my little baby again. Wonder what the hell he looks like. I wonder if his purple hair came in yet. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait to hold this baby. He's he's probably bigger now. He'll probably sit in the lap. Yeah. Oh my fat. god! I know. I was just gonna I'll say. I hope he's fat. got the wrists braced.